Many businesses struggled during the pandemic, but one local auto shop faced those challenges and then some as the DOT forced them to move their business the past year because of new road construction. I met with the owner of Crazy Dave's Auto Repair in La Crosse about how he and his wife overcame those struggles and got to a new home for their auto shop. I've been crazy all my life. A fitting name for the owner of Crazy Dave's Auto in La Crosse. I don't know that there is any other name that's best for him. Definitely has stuck with him throughout these many years for a reason. It's doing him really well in this business too because that name is pretty memorable. A one crazy man band. Just me. It's just me. And although it isn't easy, he will be here until after hours if he needs to do something. He'll get up early in the morning to come into work um, to be able to get something done that he promised a customer. It's where he's meant to be. You got to find your, your spot, what you enjoy. And I discovered that I liked working on vehicles and that was my passion. But it was no joy ride getting there. My dad passed away when I was younger and it's been a rough road. Living each day in honor of his father. My dad was close. So, I, he'd be proud of me. I mean, if my dad was alive, he'd be right here. So. Now with no one better to stand by his side than his wife, Christina. My grandfather actually was a mechanic and he would have loved Dave. And so I imagine his dad being like my grandfather was. The two say they survived the past year because of their support for one another. Through the COVID, it was rough. I'm not gonna deny it, it was extremely rough. I almost folded doors several times, but I'm a survivor, I'm gonna keep pushing. And if that wasn't enough, now Crazy Dave's needed to find a new home. The state want, wanted to move me because they're wanting to put a roundabout in. I went through thick and thin trying to find a place. Almost close deal on, just didn't feel right or something wasn't correct. So just kind of kept moving around trying to find a place that I could call home. Even with every bump in the road the Willits faced, they overcame it. Finding the right place on the north side in what used to be TC's auto. There was a reason why we got this building. There was a reason why this one became available. There's a reason why Mike decided, hey, Dave deserves this. It is time for me to retire. Crazy Dave finally able to take a calming breath. I'm content. And for now, it's back to working on cars. Actually, I got a customer just pulling in now. Very interesting there, Carly. Yeah. Sorry, I was caught up in the story, so I was like very. <laughs> but uh, Crazy Dave's is now located on the north side of La Crosse, and the auto shop is only advertised by word of mouth, which is very, very interesting. Yeah, and the owners, Dave and his wife, um, they say while they're so thankful for their loyal customers, they, they hope to keep building off those community connections while being locally known as honest and trustworthy, and I definitely got that, that feeling from them.